Okay, right, on this one we're going to be like putting your picture or whoever's picture on a big billboard sign thing. Let's see, I found a really good one on photobucket.com. There we go, and I have no idea who he is, but it doesn't matter. Right, so what we want to do is we want to go onto the path tool, and if, um, basically just click four little dot themes around the box, and you don't want to click right on the dot, just click near it, then do shift and V, I think it is, yep, and delete. Oh wait, first of all you want to go onto layer, transparency, Oh my god, what just happened? Layer, transparency, add alpha channel, and then you want to delete it. Now on the layers, we want a new layer, okay, and we want to put the layer underneath it. Please tell me it's going to work. Um, select none, maybe. And it's not working for some reason. What is going on here? Let's try moving it. Yeah, there you go. We'll move it down like that. Right. So I've got some really awesome pictures of Zac Efron because everybody knows Zac Efron is awesome. Now, if we take the first one, and all you want to do is edit, unless it's obviously way too big, which you'll find out in a minute, and cut it. See, that's like way too big and the only thing I can work out really the easiest way to do this is to start up a paint document for some reason paste the picture into that image stretch and screw um yeah there we go let's try it now so we've copied it again back onto the picture see that's much better and um if we go on to the movie bit we can put him over there and then layer and color and then we'll open the other picture which is Zach number two which is personally my favorite picture of Zach Efron like ever and we'll see how big this one is and I think this is actually a really big file yeah it is so we go on to paint again and do that image we'll go about 40 this time copy that again go down and paste that in which is actually extremely good fitting we have him over there layer anchor layer um, then open deck number 3 there we are oh I like this one too <laughs> edit uh, still too big. Now that's probably actually too small, but we can have a look. No, that's the perfect size. Um, I'm gonna move that over into the middle. I think it's obviously, yeah, that looks really bad. Um, layer, let's go on anchor layer. Right. What we're going to do is we're going to the smudge tool, which is the little finger. Now this is like a default brush, so it should be on there. It's right at the bottom. It's like a big yellow orange spark thing. And I think if um, the mouse to work, if you move it over like this, it looks better. So if you do that down all the sides, I'll pause the video a sec, and then we'll do it then. Okay, right, so we've done that now, and I think that looks, like, awesome. Um, and then if you wanted to put some text on it or something, I don't know, um, oh, right, um, yeah, I'll do that in a minute. Where's it gone? Um, let's do this one, so I like this one. Um, we'll give him blue text, why not? There you go. And uh, make it bigger. And obviously that's a really bad colour, but I've worked out that if 
we can get this to move, which we can't. Come on. No, we want the text to move. There we go. I'll put that there. And if you go into filters, light and shadow, and this X app, whatever effect, I think it's really good. And you click OK. And it's do it for me. And then if you select none, it does that. And I personally think that is awesome. Alright, and we're going to load. I'm saying awesome a lot lately. Uh, merge that down. And then we'll merge this down, this down. And then eventually put the layer onto it. So it's all one picture now. And if you wanted to put like a little... Um, and um, I don't know, let's give him a heart, okay? There we go. There we have it. 